Hello and welcome to a preview of Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire uh, by Obsidian. And uh, the copy was provided to me by Coco.com, the good old games. Uh, uh, so thank you for them. Uh, so this is the backer beta uh, of uh, uh, Pillars of Eternity 2. So it's not the full game uh, at all, and it's not uh, from the beginning game. It's a sort of a, a slice somewhere in the game, uh, and. Uh, it's supposed to not have too many spoilers in it, but of course uh, there will be some. And uh, it's also uh, the not, not the full version of the game, so it will have uh, uh, some features missing. Uh, there may be bugs, so we may run into some <coughs> issues uh, and all kinds of stuff. So keep that in mind. <coughs> but let's uh, let's uh, jump in the game. And uh, my plan is to do uh, maybe a few videos of this, uh, just to try out and uh, test uh, <coughs> how the game feels. Uh, so I won't be uh, going too deep into like reading uh, everything uh, and all the lore and everything. Uh, we are much more going to be looking at how the game works, combat works, uh, all the new stuff uh, that's already in the game works, uh, and just uh, kind of go through the uh, current uh, backer beta preview version, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and uh, I'll likely do a, a proper series uh, where we do. <laughs> read everything and go deep in the lore, like I did with Pillars 1 uh, on my on my uh, Twitch channel, and I will be uh, exporting those videos like, into, into YouTube as well, uh, as parts, uh, cut them into parts and all, all, all of that usual stuff. But let's uh, just jump into the game and see how this is. So I have not actually played this at all, and I have played uh, the Pillars 1 from uh, end to finish. I didn't play the expansions, I do kind of want to play them though, and uh, it's been a while since I did that. It was the launch of uh, Pillars 1. So I may not remember and everything. I'll be rusty, is what I'm trying to say. So we'll, we'll go with classic. Uh, we'll, we'll not do uh, none of these. Uh, no level scaling and anything. <clears throat> so let's just uh, start that. I think we'll get into a character creation first, I would imagine. And we'll see. So that was the or Obsidian Entertainment presence. And I saw in the <clears throat> settings menu, in the sound option, uh, that there is uh, sea shanties in this game, which uh, <laughs> I hope uh, I hope uh, currently are already in the game. They, they said that uh, there is not uh, stuff like a voice acting is not in the game, uh, some of the other features. Uh, but I hope the sea shanties are in games because I, I love sea shanties in game games, uh, all the all the pirates games and everything, uh, uh, like the AC, uh, Assassin's Creed, uh, the Black Flag, and uh, some of the other ones where uh, where you can hear. Uh, it's awesome sea shanty, so I, I hope uh, those are in the game and uh, running already. Let's see if the game can actually will load. So, uh, uh, as this is the preview, uh, back at a branch uh, and not a finished game, uh, but yeah, all yet. Uh, uh, it may not be fully optimized yet, so loading times might be a lot. Also, recording and everything that uh, slows down. So, we may have to also set a uh, some of the graphical settings and everything uh, uh, a bit more uh, and see how they work uh, if there's issues uh. we'll see hey we have a mouse let's see <laughs> we have a black screen and a mouse do, 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 do. <laughs> hello there we go. Now, now we have a stop sign. <laughs> it's telling me to stop clicking bell. I hope I didn't click on something. Eh? It sounded like I said Okay, there we go. There we go. Character creation. Female male. Um, I love the lore and everything in the first game. It was pretty grim and dark. Uh, and I think uh, the fact that I enjoyed uh, the game, uh, the first game so much, was that uh, I was uh, playing on, on stream and uh, I was reading every single bit of uh, the lore and everything, which really allowed me to just like dive into the world. Like often I, when when you play like RPGs, if I play them uh, on my own, I, I just quickly glance like what's the text and everything and just like go through that. But uh, I think the reading I was uh, really what got me uh, very very well into the game. So uh, that's definitely what I will be doing uh, when uh, I'm playing the full game. But this time I'm just gonna quickly glance uh, these and I'm not gonna read them aloud. I might. Uh, Pickle sentence or two in there, um, 
and just uh, go. If, uh, if you're interested in the lore, uh, uh, you can always, of course, pause the video and just uh, read it yourself. Uh, if there's uh, something that uh, piques your interest. Let's just go. I'm gonna actually play a female. I, I often like uh, <clears throat> like playing uh, females in a, in a lot of RPGs. Uh, for some reason, uh, uh, like in World of Warcraft, uh, I played a lot of uh, female characters other than my big ass Torin cow. <clears throat> We'll see. We'll go for a for a female, and let's see what options we have here. So the races are uh, uh, pretty much looks like the same races that uh, in the first like uh, uh, first uh, pillars. So God likes and everything, Orlans and all these awesome ones. God likes are pretty cool in the first uh, first game. Uh, they seem to be very very cool in the second game as well. Um, I think I'm, did I what did I play in, in my first game? I played a um, I think I was a human, maybe. But let's just go for godlike. Godlikes uh, look awesome. Dexterity and intelligence. Uh, headgear is near impossible to find anything that fits. That's a. I think I'm a godlike uh, in real life as well because my big head never finds any hats that really fits it. I actually have a series uh, on on Instagram uh, of. Uh, Things that don't fit Bell's head, basically. So there's op different options. There's a death god like, ooh, that's that's not a not a face you want to see. <laughs> death usher, death usher. Innate ability sends vulnerable and the enemies as death approaches. Against all targets are near death. Death uh, got extra damage. Nice. Pallid faith. Increased power level when they are uh, near death. Cool. Fire god like so. They all get intelligence and dexterity. Yeah, it's the uh, same stats for everything, it's just uh, different uh, uh, ones. So we have a battle forged. Uh, when we are uh, bloodied or near death, uh, their bodies harden, uh, getting extra armor rating, and show lashes out at uh, attackers, causing burn damage to anyone who hits them in melee. And ashen skin. Uh, fire uh, god likes uh, skin is naturally resistant to burn damage. So basically, resistant to fire damage. Then we have a moon like uh, god likes. Uh, we have a uh, silver tide. Souls of all moon godlikes are connected uh, to a reserve of healing energy. In combat, uh, the first time a god moon godlike is hurt, bloodied or near death, they will automatically generate a wave of healing around themselves. Would be nice to know like uh, how much is it percentage of heal, is it uh, just a uh, static heal, does it level up uh, as you level up uh, and everything like that. Wellspring of life, so this is the na nature godlikes. They look awesome. <clears throat> so the souls of the nature godlikes uh, respond to uh, powerful uh, to inspiration. While nature cat like is under effects of any might, constitution, or dexterity inspiration, they will benefit from an increased power level. I don't know, I I'm, might want to go for a death god like or a or a fire god like. They're really cool, both of them. Let's just, let's just be death. We'll be death god like. Oops, body type. Oh, you can uh, choose a body type for your uh, god like as well. So basically how big you are. Uh, we'll just go for a normal, let's go for an elf. It's kind of smaller. Let's be a bit, bit, bit smaller in size, I guess. Select single or multi-class. Would you like to make a single class or a multi-class character? Uh, let's go for multi-class. Let's just see it. Gain access to higher level of powers more slowly and cannot access their high class highest power levels. Hmm. Are not recommended for more new players. Well then. <laughs> <laughs> I often like playing like a uh, kind of spell sword uh, kind of characters who uh, have a bit of a uh, spells uh, in their arsenal and then just uh, swing their uh, weapon uh, around. So I, I think I'm gonna play a multi class with this as well. And uh, so we could go for uh, like a uh, uh, cipher was the one I played uh, uh, or uh, in the original game. Uh, but we could go for a uh, should we have a ba paladin? Paladin is pretty much a spell sword class, uh, uh, as as is, uh, I guess. Uh. <clears throat> let's be let's be rogue. A rogue wizard or a monk wizard. Mortification. Some monk abilities require and consume mortification to use. Outside of combat, monk's mortification is restored, ready to use in the next count. Resource wounds. Religion inside the 
athletics, metaphysics. Why don't we a monk? I feel like a monk should be, should be out, of, out of thing. That looks uh, neat. Let's uh, close that. A monk wizard? Or a druid. Monk druid. Well, let's, let's, let's go for a rogue. We'll be rogue first. Oh, subclass. Assassin. Can stealth uh, attacks bonus. Uh, street fighter. Uh, is there a subclasses for monks as well? Interest me. Yes, there is. Hail Walker. Ask them to start combat with extra wounds and draw physical strength from their uh, their wounds. It goes to pull vulnerability. Ah. Uh... I don't know, but that sounds uh, very not great. Mind altering substances. <laughs> nice. Bonus of drugs. Damn. Shattered pillar. Causing from causing pain and harm. Nice. Interly sadistic the order does not uh, affect Well we are death uh, godlike, so I think a shattered pillar sounds uh by weapon melee damage inflicted. Ooh. Yeah, let's go. Let's go for a shattered pillar. Um, so we can do force of anguish. Actually, these are uh, already, I guess, what we have. Yeah, yeah, looks good. Looks good. We go for that, and then uh, for a second class, uh, shadow dancer, transcendent. Cool. So I, I want to. Uh, a chanter is probably not good because they are uh, kind of chanting and uh, slow uh, casting, I would imagine. Sage. Almost Cypher as a second would be pretty cool. Mind Hunter. Cyphers used to be really, really powerful uh, in the first game, so maybe. <clears throat> I wonder which class would have uh, something casting out. It's something something I want to do. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just gonna go for a wizard, and we'll see. The monk wizard, uh, sage. You're a death god like a uh, sage. Oh, there's a uh, multiple on on this as well. Transmuter. Uh, alters wizard or their enemies, enchantments on or evocation spells. Form of fearsome brute into an ogre. Physical abilities are increased. I wonder if this uh, works uh, with the mm, with the monk stuff. Uh, like we, we are uh, transforming us into a into a bigger creature and then we punch <laughs> with a monk fist into the face. Let's see, enchanter, free action. Once per encounter, uh, when a wizard is affected by dexterity affliction, uh, they will clear that effect and become temporarily immune to dexterity afflictions penalty. Illusion and transmutation. Petals are being confused. Summon weapons and physical objects of the animal conjure familiar. Let's go for a conjurer. Familiar is a poor combo from a passive bonus to the mass. Let's do that one. So we have a. Uh, do we need to choose one? We need to choose one. Um, let's see. We have a coast blades. Parasitic staff. Imbued negative effect. Each successful strike uh, siphons health to the wizard. Ooh, let's go for that. A, a monk uh, with a, a parasitic staff. Uh, that might all mean uh, weapons are going to become annoying for me, though. Maybe not. Uh, sunless grasp. Counters fire. Fleet feet. Nimble inspiration as well as bonus to this game's game defense. Spirit shield. Armor rating and concentration. Yolting. Uh, actually, defense might not be a bad idea as well. Let's just go for a spirit shield. Like uh, what I was looking for the ca from the caster side of the uh, class was a uh, kind of like a 
buffs uh, that I can use. Not like a direct damage spells or anything, just uh, basically buff myself and then just go punch face with the, with the monk. So we have 15 points to spend, uh, recommended for Sage. Um, so might, might is recommended for Sage, recommended for Sage, recommended for Sage. So Dex, uh, Constitution and uh, Intelligence. So basically everything except Perception and uh, Resolve is uh, what we want. So fantastically powerful. Let's put, go for a mm, Spiritual Strength, Brute Strength is powerful magic. Let's go for a fantastically powerful 18 uh, on that. Then we go a couple points on that, a couple points in Constitution and a uh, few points in uh, that as well. Ability duration is definitely what we want to. We'll go for it with those. And then, let's see. Cultures, where are you from? Plus one resolve, plus one dexterity, plus one resolve, intelligence, constitution, might. Uh, let's go for the might. We'll be extra mighty. And what was your job? Bluff, streetwise survival. Doesn't really matter. Let's be a mercenary. We're a, we're a mercenary sage, wandering monk. Choose weapon types. Magic implements. Um, Two-handed. Is that a dual wield option though? Uh, we'll go for a, that's parrying blade. Um, which one is sword then? Is this, that's mazes. That's rapier, a sword. Saber. Just sword, 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 half sword. Warhammer, stiletto, spear, windmill, windmill slash. By swinging the saber with great arcing strikes, gain penetration at the cost of recovery time. Needle strike. Carefully striking with your rapier, aiming for vital points to ensure success. Fighting with this uh, way, increase accuracy at the cost of recovery. Cool. Mazes, rending maze. Damage dark armor at the cost of recovery time. Hmm. There's firearms as well, pistols. That's really cool. Destructive channeling. Rod is blast and wand is interfering barrage. Huh. And then there's two handers. Estoc. Great sword. Vulnerable thrust. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's half sword. Fighting with the close quarter styles, using your blade to penetrate armor more effectively at the cost of lower deflection. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go for a. How about that windmill strike there? Let's go for rapiers and swords. I uh, wonder if we're gonna get more uh, of these uh, eventually. We'll, we'll be a sword uh, specialist, basically. And then uh, there's my portrait. Uh, that's a strange one. Uh, let's see. There's a, there's a lot of portraits. What do we want to look like? I mean, if that's my face. Something like that, maybe. Is that a... Well, we'll go with that one. That's a fine for me. Colors, doesn't matter. A face. I mean, face is that. Voice. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Mystical. Let's go. Let us end this. Keeping an eye out. Well, we'll go with that. Pose. Hunched. Rokis. <laughs> Should we be sassy? Sullen. We'll, we'll be a sassy. I don't know. It doesn't look good. Heroic. Hunched. I mean, we are a monk. Who is that a roguish? Well, let's just be stoic. It doesn't matter. It, it really doesn't matter. I will call the Watcher. Uh, that's, I will call you Bela Nara, even though. <laughs> that's fine. So that's, uh, that's our stats uh, and everything. Let's just go. And get to get a bit of an action uh, as well. Not spend too much time. 
There we go. That looks uh, very, very familiar uh, from uh, previous games. Yes. So we have a uh, randomly, or oh, no, not random, but we have a uh, full squad uh, on our uh, uh, arsenal uh, to go. We seem to be somewhere uh, on a port. Uh, that's a uh, kind of problem when you uh, have uh, just this uh, slice of a uh, preview of the game and not uh, like actual full full game, uh, so you don't really know what's going on. Uh, let's uh, open up that there, so we see what's uh, happening. So we are in Tikavara and party gain some experience. Uh, uh, so we have some random people in our team. So these are not the uh, characters uh, that will be in the game, uh, like uh, these uh, story characters. Uh, uh, if I got the Explanation correct. Uh, so these are just the uh, people uh, that are for this now. So I, I gained a level immediately. So I'm at level two, and I get uh, one active uh, skill point and one passive skill point, and uh, a new ability for a wizard or a monk. So let's see. Athletics. Second so ability to recover lost health. Sounds good. Well, let's just pump up athletics. Uh, we are uh, going to be fighting anyway, so. Insight, Indimidate. I think uh, I think Indimidate is something we should have a lot of as a death card. Like, so we could choose uh, either between a wizard or a with a, a monk. What we want. So what is this here? Conjure familiar. So we have a uh, have the ones with the sign here. So if you have passive ability conjurer, you already have this. Uh, and there's a arms bearer. Gain additional weapon set. Ooh. We can take. Uh, we don't really need that though. Two handed style. So that is the parasitic staff we could take. Uh, but I should have probably taken staff uh, abilities uh, if I wanted that. So we have the shield. Uh, what do we have uh, on the monk side? We, we took the force of anguish. Cost two wounds. Gidbert wound. A powerful attack that knocks a uh, target back. Uh, Sigma distance and pronounce them. There's swift strike uh, for a mortification. Uh, becomes frenzied blur of attacks. Increasing the at action speed and for a brief period, can do quick inspiration, and then there is a lesser wound, upgraded uh, from wounds. Allows monk to gain wounds when uh, receiving damage. Cedric pillar instead of wounds, uh, gain wounds when dealing damage. Lesser wounds lowers the monk's wound threshold, allowing them to gain wounds faster at faster rate. So, if we need wounds uh, to do shit, we should probably gain them faster. I imagine. Let's grab that, and we'll be fine with that. Oh, I reached that level 3, apparently, all over. <laughs> yeah, so... Well, I'm gonna pump up my Athletics and that, uh... Indimidation even more. And I guess we get uh, one more point as well. So, do we want the second spell, uh... Or, uh... Hmm... Grants Caster Otrobolid side resulting in pre-natural awareness. Temper against aware... Hmm... Um, I'm gonna go for the swift strikes from the monk, and we're done. And we got uh, another level. I guess uh, we immediately gain a few levels, uh, so we get to do some uh, stuff. So what do we have here? Infuse with vital. Infuse caster with vitality, granting them a fit and smart inspirations. Uh, One-handed style. Well, for fighting, building single-handed weapon, uh, some attackers hits are uh, convert to crits. Uh, weapon and shield. Uh, Points to reflexes. Uh, that might be something I want. Although I, I kind of like that's a uh, one uh, one-handed uh, uh, option. So we have to take uh, a wizard ability next. So oh, and a monk. So for, for both of them, new power level has been unlocked. So I, I get uh, ability point for both of these. Fetid caress. Target being paralyzed and is afflicted with a boiling pustules of false smelling liquid. Ooh, that's pretty rough. Grimora slam. Bonk. <laughs> Combusting wounds. Uh, corrosive siphon. That sounds nice. Eats away the dark spirit, inflicting corrosive damage and converting the essence into health of the caster. Healing myself sounds pretty good. Arcane Veil. Mm -mm. Bulwark against elements. I'm actually gonna go for that uh, one handed style from uh, the wizard. Uh, and uh, from the monk, we're gonna grab uh, Clarity of Agony. Incoming and hostile effects are halved. Nice. Dance of Death. 
Potentially increasing bonus to accuracy and wounds, suffering any damage ends this effect. That's cool. I guess I, if you did the ranged monk, like a bow bow monk, who was uh, just dancing with death and shooting bow uh, shots at enemies, this could actually be really handy. Mortification of soul. <laughs> nice. Uh, what do we have here? Arms bearer. You know, I should have a. Can we actually go previous? Uh, I'm gonna. I'm actually not. I'm gonna get the one-headed style from the manka. I think uh, instead, uh, because none of these uh, are uh, inspiring me so much. But there was uh, stuff in here that I really wanted. Enemies being as wooden princess, so they were physically tangible. Increased chance of landing a critical hit. I'm gonna take a heal ability from there. And then I'm gonna take the one-handed ability from there. And we get a available weapon. So I should probably take the scepter. Is that a staff? Club. Uh, is that two-handed? It is. Hmm. Um. Just gonna keep uh, on getting the sword, uh, sword abilities for me. Next. <laughs> and level five. Easy game. Easy game. <laughs> <laughs> Just leveling up before we even start at all. So, next point uh, in the wizarding uh, school here. Let's do the paralyzing uh, effect. Uh, it sounds uh, pretty fancy. Oh, it was uh, actually for a monk or a wizard, so. Yeah, that, that uh, paralyze sounds pretty good. Uh, like a uh, crowd control is great. And level 6. I'm gonna take the merciless gaze for extra critical hits next. Is this also from monk? Yeah. I'm not spending too much on on the monk's stuff right now. Let's get a couple of wizardy wizardy buff things. And no more levels. Okay, there we go. So now we can actually play the game. Of course. Let's go and check out the bit of this a ship. I'm saved. Ari. What is see. it? Stop this guy. I'll see it done. Let's see. Drowning man would look uh, on a dry land. Let's see. Do, do, do. Heavy sigh. So this is godlike. Ah, oh, so this actually happens because I'm godlike. I think uh, that's very cool. Affirmation in Valian. Th these are really nice. I like the. How have they done it? Like there's uh, additional information you can see. This is for for lore nerd. Uh, this is amazing. Uh, just, just if you just play the game, you can just have uh, okay. You we we do this and we do this. But if you are uh, really into like the world and lore, you can uh, read uh, all of these requirements not met because uh, the weight that wins. Okay, let's uh, company sent me. Belfetto. Well done. Uh, I just have to follow his gaze. Uh, it doesn't fix it anything particular. Flinch and clear strout. Would have told you to search for the luminous Adra. Ooh, in Poco Um uh, Why would he do that? Hot northeast of that pitiful market. Okay. Vector isn't a Valian name because we have a history. Nerd. Okay. I'll keep an eye out. Oh, let's go. Let's go to use on uh, edge. We landed the Kavaras. Chitan gave us a welcome feat uh, for the ducks. Feasted, dance, and drunk. <laughs> the ghost of a smile. Our medicine for the soul. Now something Anahar. Turn the villager against us. Hmm. Where'd they go? Left the village. Suspicion now? Okay. 
Let's see, uh, supplies? I have to send myself uh, trading with the villagers, okay. Almost out of ale, Ah. Can't can be out of ale, for sure. Hey, shop. So what do we actually have? A torch, and all kinds of things. Adventure Screamer, we have a bit of... Missing string. Okay, so th as I said, uh, this game is not fully finished, so this is the money we have, uh, I guess. Uh, I don't know what I would need to buy. Medical supplies. Heart attack. Oh yeah, you need uh, you need supplies, so... Uh, you look like a our carrying guy. So let's take some... Uh, Oh yeah, you actually see this here. Oh, ah, so they don't actually go in the inventory. So we have uh, we have actually water and food and uh, things. Uh, so we don't actually need uh, any of this. Pry bar, hammer and chisel, bear claw traps, pristine padded armors. Do we have any magic stuff? Scroll, scroll, scrimmer of uh, disruption, villain clothing, villain hat, cool, hoods. Nah, we don't need any. Sorry, no thank you. Mm -mm. Alright, let's see. I'll take care of it. I think this is a, a good part to end uh, this first uh, portion. So we've gone through character creation basically, and uh, we got a bit to the game. And uh, in the second part, we'll run around this in this uh, village and uh, wherever we are, and try to find some combat and try the combat portion of the game and all of that. So thank you for watching this uh, episode of the or the preview of the Pillars of Eternity 2 by Obsidian Entertainment provided by GOG, and uh, down below the stream there is a, a link uh, if you're interested uh, in the game uh, to pre-order or buy it from GOG, and uh, <clears throat> you also get a Wasteland 2 uh, as a, a bonus if you buy the game through that. But anyways, thank you for watching this, and I'll see you guys on the next episode, so thank you, and bye bye.